Typically a workbench is built around 35 inches, but I'm actually going to go quite a bit taller to match the table height of this saw bench. Now that we have that line snapped, our next step will be building the bottom shelf. And our top shelf is going to be 35 and a half, so we'll make our bottom shelf 5 inches less, so we'll make it uh, 30 and a half. Remember to keep your uh, cross boards three inches shorter than the total measurement of your shelf. The next step is you want to put up your stringers. You want one in the back and one in the front. Well, I got my stringers nailed on. I went ahead and nailed some scrap pieces on underneath the back ones, give it more support. I'll also do that here on the front ones. But now I'm ready to put on my top bench. I'm making that five inches bigger than what I made the uh, bottom shelf. Just to clarify, um, you'll want your bottom stringer on the inside of your leg and your top stringer on the outside of your leg. That way when you stand here, you're not kicking the bottom as quick. So uh, you'll always want to make your top bench at least three inches longer than your bottom plus whatever overhang you want. So that's why I went five inches longer. Well, there you have it. I actually milled this lumber on my own sawmill from a tree that fell down just a hundred yards over there so to watch that click this video right here